What's the best way to find deals? That's what we're discussing. Hey, I'm Tim Diesel, I'm a commercial real estate consultant. This channel is designed to give you tips and strategies in your investing business. If you're a broker, this will definitely help your clients. All right, so what's the best way to find deals? Without a doubt, it's commercial brokers. They are gonna be your very best source to find deals. I don't care what else you hear from anybody else, any other training. I've been doing this a long time. Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not saying you have to use me. You can use anybody you want. But understand that when you're looking for deals, you need to go to the people who are also looking for deals and they're looking to broker the deals they find, right? Commercial real estate broker is the number one best way to find deals, good deals. They already have relationships. A lot of times if you're looking for a 30, a 40, a 50 unit building, an apartment building, uh, or maybe even a warehouse, whatever it is, that broker that placed the tenant or found the property, identified the opportunity for the investor, they've kept long-term relationships and dealings with that person. So if you're in close with that individual, what happens is you get first shot at something before everybody else does. And it's a very, very lucrative uh, uh, strategy. Get in good with a lot of the brokers. Now, we know based on this, well, what I've been telling you, commercial brokers are the best source. If you have a better source, comment below. I need to know what it is. Here's the second thing I wanna uh, cover. How to work with commercial brokers. Because a lot of you guys, maybe you might have a tough time with this. Maybe you're, some of you are doing it wrong. Who knows, let's cover that. Um, when you're working with a commercial broker, do not call them and say, hey, I just went to this awesome seminar, uh, I work with a group and we buy big properties, we're looking for a $10 million portfolio, leave all that stuff out, broker doesn't wanna do that. And I'll tell you why. Brokers get paid when they close on a deal. So they know up front they're working for free, right? We have to find the deal maybe if you're representing the buy side. Now, if you're representing the sales side, it's a little bit different. But if you're representing the buy side, they need to screen you a little bit. Um, tell me a little more about what you do. What are you looking for? Blah, 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 series of questions. Let me see some bank statements. Some brokers ask that, I don't like that question, throw them away. Um, but you will get some kind of uh, screening right? Because they have to pre-qualify you to some degree and make sure you're not a time waster. Now, reverse this question and write this down. I want you to, when you speak to a broker, how can we work together? That's your question. You want to ask the broker, how can we work together? I'm looking for a property. How can we work together? Not what do you have? Hey, this is what I want. Only send me this. No. Start off with the relationship. Let's set the frame a little bit. And then the next question is, he says, okay, I'll send you whatever, five office buildings in your area that you wanna buy. And you say, okay, fine. Well, when you send them to me and I tell you, hey, these won't work, I'm going to tell you why they won't work. So maybe it's uh, too close to the, uh, to the main street or there's not enough visibility, or the traffic is low. But I'm going to email you back, let you know exactly what I did not like about this property, and we're going to work together and really identify something that makes sense. So, bro brokers will ask you to sign a buyer's broker broker's exclusive agreement. I have said before, that's not a problem. Do it, sign it. Just don't make it very long, um, 30 days. I think 30 days, 60 days is plenty. You do not need six months or a year because in 30, 60 days, you can kind of see what they're throwing at you. And that's a fair way to do it. If somebody's been helping you for five or six or seven months and you don't buy anything and then you go with somebody else because you found a better deal, that's not really fair to the broker. I understand their side of it. And I also understand if you're a syndicator and you're looking for the best deal for your group, brokers don't like to work with them. They can't because as a syndicator, you're looking for the best deal for your group. So 
that's where you have to go, right? So you're kind of challenged, but there can be a working agreement, a relationship of some sort. Now, I don't know what that is, and I'm not exactly sure what fits where you are. This depends on the parts of the country you live in, what kind of deals you're looking for, the size of the deal, but work together slowly, build trust. Relationship takes time. That, this is the number one critical asset you have in your arsenal when you're building a team. You have to have a broker you can work with that can send you deals that will tell you about the deals. Hey, this is what I think is going on in this market. You need someone to do all the research for you because if you're an investor that turns property around quickly and you sell it and move on to the next project, that broker wants to know, hey, am I getting this guy into a deal that's not gonna move or does there opportunity here? So you need to really be in tune to what's happening. So if you're looking in an area you don't necessarily live in, you need to have a good working relationship with a broker. It's okay, uh, give a little risk. They will help you. A broker is so invaluable because they're putting up so much time, effort, research, uh, making a lot of connections for you. And do not take that for granted. A good broker is something very, very valuable. Um, and if you're working with buyers, I know when I'm personally working with buyers, I'm very selective. We don't just work with any buyer. We don't just take anybody on. There's a certain set of criteria, right? Same thing with sellers. You want someone that looks out for your best interest, that will help you, guide you towards a deal. So how can we work together? That's the first question you wanna ask them. How are we working together? And then you wanna say, listen, when you send me a property, I promise you that when I tell you yes or no, well, if I tell you no, I'm going to email you back and I'm going to tell you what I did not like about the property. And this will really separate you from everyone else because a lot of people will call and they'll say, hey, what do you have available? What's this, what's that? This will be so much easier. So definitely work on this, contact some brokers and start making some deals. All right, question is, do you guys have a script that you use for your brokers and how do you like working with brokers? All right, that's all I got for you. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, especially if you found this valuable. Leave me comments, questions. I love answering them. Thank you guys so much for watching.